Showing a copyrighted film in a public setting infringes the copyright owner's exclusive right of public performance. In Columbia Pictures Industries v. Red Horn, a video store allows customers to view copyrighted films in the store's private rooms. Are the in-store showings public performances? At Maxwell's Video Showcase, customers could rent copyrighted films on videotapes and view the films on site in private booths. In the showroom area, customers selected a film. Then customers proceeded to one of many private viewing booths to enjoy the film on a small television. Each viewing booth contained a television and seating for up to four people, but not the video cassette player. The playing equipment was centrally located at the front desk and operated by a store employee. Customers simply sat down in their viewing booths while Maxwell's handled playing the videotapes. Maxwell's stores and services were open to the public. However, each private viewing booth was restricted to the customers who made the rental. Strangers weren't grouped together. Maxwell stores offered films from Columbia Pictures. Maxwell's was authorized to distribute copies of Columbia films, but not to publicly perform them. Under the Copyright Act, distribution and public performance are separate rights granted to the copyright holder. Distribution encompasses renting a copy of a film to the public, but the distribution right doesn't cover showing the film to the public. Columbia sued for copyright infringement, claiming that offering on-site showings to customers violated Columbia's exclusive right of public performance. Columbia named several defendants, including Maxwell's and Maxwell's advertising firm, Red Horn. The district court entered summary judgment for Columbia and enjoined Maxwell's from showing Columbia's copyrighted movies. Maxwell's appealed to the Third Circuit.